What's going on, everyone? How ya do? Finally, the new patcher's out. I know the patcher's been out for a couple days already. I just haven't gotten around to making a video on it. Anyways, here we go. Everything you need in one super easy video just to install the new latest patcher for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, 1.17.0. All right, so if we go over to Eternity's modding uh, website thread, we can see right off the bat here that the previous version of the installer is right here. The latest version is actually where this project has been moved here. So if we click on that, it brings us just to the video game mods website where you get basically all your other mods for Xenoverse 2. So this is nice. It's been moved somewhere a little bit more convenient for most people to get to because people go here to get modding stuff anyways. So, note about the 1.17.01 to 1.17.02 update, you don't need to wipe your data. However, you need to, you should run installer version 3.71 at least once so that it installs a new, uh, whatever the frick that file is. <laughs> um, it's for skill stuff. You basically, you run the new installer just for skills to be updated properly, if I understand correctly. So anyways, you're just gonna hit download on that. It's going to show up in your downloads once it's completed. Then you can drag and drop them to your uh, to your desktop. They'll look something like this. So you can just click, right click, 7-zip, extract, click, right click, 7-zip, extract, and they'll show up. I already have them right here. So then you just want to go to wherever your game directory is located. If this is your first time installing mods in Xenoverse 2 with the new update, your directory will probably be a bit different than mine, so it'll be under local disk, program files x86, steam, steam apps, common, and then it'll be right here. You see Dragon Ball Kakarot, it's right there. Um, but I moved mine to a different drive. For those of you who have not moved your game, you do not need to worry about this next step at all. You can watch it if you like, but you just keep in mind you don't need this to actually install mods. For those of you who have Dragon Ball Universe 2 installed on like a different drive, or just somewhere else on your computer, the game will have probably updated itself, but not not the version or not in the location that you usually play from so i have the latest version of the game already on my computer i just don't have it in where i normally play like this is the version that i play this is the previous version and my steam library is actually on my g drive as well but and this is where so just an extra step for those of you who have it in a different spot just just copy whichever version of the game has been updated, of course, make sure that it is actually updated, and then just paste it in the location that your unupdated directory is, and then that'll solve every, that'll update the game, basically. For those of you who just have it in the normal location, you don't have to worry about that at all. Anyways, so once that's done, you should be in your updated directory. Fairly simple, same as the last one. All you're gonna do is drag and drop just like that, into your Xenoverse 2 directory. Same here with the patcher, except with the patcher, you're just gonna take what you need. So just the bin and XP2 patcher files. Remember, you're gonna open this up, and then you're just gonna grab the bin and XP2 patcher files. Just give those a drag and drop. I'm not gonna do it, because I already did it, and that's gonna mess up my patcher files. And for those of you who want the optional patcher extensions, you just open this file, and then you drag and drop this into your directory, and it works just like that. That should be everything you need to play with mods on the latest update of the game. Very straightforward this time around, actually. It is basically just download it from the normal modding website instead of Eternity's thread, extract, and then drag and drop. It's super easy, um, but again, one step that we should do now that we have the new installer is just run it to make sure all the mods, you know, show up as they as they do, which is good. So if that doesn't work for you guys, just left click it to highlight it, right click it, and then click run as administrator, and then just go through whatever steps it has there, and then that should allow you to configure your installer. If the installer needs you to configure a game path or something, there should be a, a box with three dots in it or something and then from that screen you just navigate back to this right here and then it works then it, then it should work just fine 
So anyways, that is everything you should need for installing mods in the latest version of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video.